Other interesting political news, you have the U.S. fast-tracking folks to become citizens right before the election. I was going to say, what is this conspiracy theory? 9,958,735,003 confirmed? I may be exaggerating just, just by a little bit. Now, this is brought to you thanks to the profile on the good old X Twitter, known as End Wokeness, in which he specifically says, quote, we're running out of conspiracy theories. And it's a screenshot of an article from the Los Angeles Times, which, fascinatingly enough, Los Angeles is still a place, even though, you know, all the crime over there, it somehow still exists. I'm actually honest that San Francisco still exists, with the exception of, like, Levi Strauss and Salesforce headquarters down there keeping the place afloat. Most businesses and folks are uh, leaving in droves. Now, they say, again, this is the Los Angeles Times article, saying, quote, With an election looming, the U.S. is approving citizenship applications at the fastest speed in years. Which, uh, yeah, I wonder why. Now, it went almost viral. Well, I'd say viral. It got right under a million views, coming at 955,000 views, as well as 28,000 likes. There you see a bunch of folks holding up the American flags, which, dude, if, if you're actually holding up the American flag, you can pass the proper test, you pass the well, background test, as well as you have the citizenship test, and you have the resource allocation necessary. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, immigration is a core component of how we expand. But, I mean, there are some folks where they, I mean, there's no assimilation. They just bring their own country's flags. They hate United States, and they're, basically speaking, they just take, to, they take a lot of resources without paying into the system or, you know, actually contributing um, in ways that is sustainable for the economy. And, I mean, divisiveness is not great. You can't, without assimilation, you can't, you know, you can't have a country. And there's a reason you don't see any Cubans with flags. The country is terrible. I think we got out of that hellhole right when Fidel took over. Thank God they got out safely. They're one of the last planes out, perhaps another, another, another start for another time. But as a Cuban, if they ever go back, hell no. You're, I would laugh if I saw someone with a Cuban flag. I'd be like, why the hell? And Fidel destroyed, the Fidel's destroyed that country. But I partially digress. I'll get back to the actual, you know, the comments and the articles. Now, again, we're pretty well got right under a million, a million views. One well, of the first ones, coming, a comments coming from American Papa Ferris says, quote, aren't they conspiracy theorists about 160 and zero at this point? Yeah, getting 71 likes. I also have Paul Zupa saying, quote, and the ones who don't become citizens, don't worry, Democrats blocked legislation that would have made it illegal for illegals to register to vote. Democrats are cheating like never before, but worse, getting 181 likes. Plenty of memes. Finally, they're a little, I was going to say overdue, but they've been doing a lot of non-memes lately. So they actually did use a meme this time, or a meme, you want to sound fancy. And they say, quote, accurate with a meme. And it has the old-fashioned picture of the guy holding a coffee mug. And he is suited up, of course, as all men showed. He says, quote, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just, I'm, uh, things are adding up in his, uh, in his pretty obvious te theorist. And 293 likes. See here. Base Electrician says, U.S. CIS officer, we have reduced the citizenship requirement to simply drinking a glass of water. Haitian grabs the whole water. Close enough. The Haitian guy's going viral all week. Got yeah, 49 likes. James Plekelhard says, quote, are you still considering uh, considered a conspiracy theorist? Uh, when everything they said the past three and a half years have been proven to be true, I'm safe either way. It's a log cabin covered in aluminum foil. And 431 likes. We have Natalie Soria having a meme. With Kamala Harris Photoshop to the old Scooby Doo meme where he's, you know, Freddy is pulling off the mask of the ghost. And the ghost mask as a legal immigrant takes off the mask and uh, becomes voter. A 124 likes. Here. Also have Jared March said, here we go. It's a little graph of how they uh, won in 2020 where, you know, Biden was pretty far behind and three in the morning just, you know, went spiked up and says what they'll try to pull off in 2024. And then, you know, the delta between. Trump and Kamala is huge, or Trump would say, huge, huge in this graph, and immediately reacts out. They got 194 likes. See, finally, a contrarian statement. I had to scroll a little bit there, but this, I'm a little suspicious of this uh, person. Claims to be a human, though that's just sort of computer would do, wouldn't it? Now, his profile name is Human Unity, and the profile name is called Human with the emojis peace sign, US flag, interestingly. Ukrainian flag and blue wave and he's a radical leftist, but more more diversity of opinions the better. And he said, quote, you'll never run out, Jack. Huh. He did get three likes for that comment. Alright. Let's see. Stella says, turned out all the conspiracy theorists are just normal people who saw through the BS. Who would have thought that coming? Oh yeah, the conspiracy theorists who were right, getting 39 likes. Let's see. 
Donald D. Trump's satire account says Kamala and Biden are the puppets of the elitist. Trump fights for the people. And a picture of Biden, Kamala, and Tim Walls. And Biden above him, the picture says stolen election. Above uh, Kamala says stolen nomination. And below, above Tim Walls, it says stolen valor. So Democrats, the party of liars and thieves, gained 31 likes. I also have a meme of Biden from American Sandy saying, quote, the voter importation scheme progress says, if you don't vote Democrat, I'll vote, flood the country with people who will. Gain 27 likes. So, and I mean, illegal immigration is one of the top topics to come, for the upcoming election. And yeah, it's one of those things where, hey, that's why I've, I have very little, if any, faith in politicians. I mean, they've had this, I mean, there's a couple of cliche topics, which don't get me wrong, they are very important topics, but the left and the right has been using them for decades to raise campaign funds. This, I think, is even more in-your-face malicious in terms of destabilizing the United States because a lot of these places do not have the resource allocations to appropriately help people, and you also need to screen them. You have no idea where they're coming from. So it's also a security threat, not just economically, but also physically. So I'm pretty pessimistic in terms of will our country ever actually secure the border. I don't think, I mean, the mechanisms, all the incentive mechanisms aren't there. I mean, states actually get more House representatives and more representation because the census, moronically, actually does not count if you're a citizen or not a citizen, just if you're a human in that area. Again, it's a big incentive mechanism, just have as many people possible. So that's why I'm pretty skeptical in terms of do I ever think it'll actually solve, quote unquote, solve this issue and have a secure border. I mean, we'll give $200 billion to Ukraine and other countries to secure their, their borders, but not ours. And again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not you know, really surprised or fast-tracking. I mean, Chuck Schumer weeks ago said, oh yeah, we need to find a a path to citizenship for these 11 million illegals had come in past you know year but let me know in the comments do you think they'll all, i mean what do you think the ratio will be into, or percentage of people who vote in the upcoming election will be people who registered in the past like four to you know three to four months and if, even if they're new citizens it'd be another interesting statistic as well let me know in the comments because as always be fascinating to hear what you have to say thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in again trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month so if you can click that button i would greatly appreciate it also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.